Okay, now we will, bring the, we will begin the second half of the presentation contest. And this is group number 147, Kotaro Kano, Aki Masakimoto, Aya Itani. Presenters, please start. Good afternoon, everyone. I feel very honored to be here with you all. And thank you for this great opportunity to give you the presentation of ours. So today, what we're going to present is Japanese rice. So before that, in the beginning, I want to ask you to all the buyers, where does your rice come from? Maybe it's easy to guess if you look at the next graph. This is the amount of the export of rice in each country. And Japan is so small. So probably you all, you buyers, uh, import the rice from other countries or the rice produced in your own country. But why? Why do you choose other rice than Japanese one? Maybe it's the price. The price is a big matter. So let's compare the other ones. The Japanese rice costs like almost double. This is a really problem. But this story is just about general Japanese white rice. And the white rice today we're going to present is completely different from ordinary Japanese white rice. So what is this? We have a special and unique way of farming, which is called winter flooded organic farming. So this is uh, pioneered by Nobuo Iwasawa. So what is this way? This way, probably the biggest difference from the usual the way of farming comes after the harvest. Just right after the harvest, the, all the crops are cut off and there will be nothing on the fields. And the people have to cultivate the fields again to prepare for the next year's crops. <laughs> but we will do something different here. We're going to put the water on the field and more water till make it flooded. And we just left water throughout the winter. That's why this is called winter flooded organic farming. But what is happening on the fields it, throughout the winter? The first time, the ground worm coming on our fields and they're going to cultivate our fields instead of human being. And after the ground worm cultivate our fields, they can be food for other bigger <coughs> animals, just like them, frogs or crayfish. And in turn, they can be the food again for other bigger animals, like birds. And birds going to drop their something like poo. And then, which can be uh, natural fertilizers. So this is our way. And then, the perfect soil can be made in the spring. So we have the three ways to cultivate our fields into really perfect soil. The first one is cultivation of earthworm and the dead body of small animals like frogs and the bird droppings. This can all make excellent soil for our, and which makes our rice so special. So we find the three benefits from our way of farming. The eco-friendliness, the, the cost-efficient way, and the quality. I'm going to explain about the eco-friendliness. Nowadays, many farmers are destroying their ecosystem by chemical fertilizers, sometimes by deforesting. And look at these graphs. This is the, the number of distinction, uh, extinctions. And it's going larger and larger as long as human beings' populations. So it's a time to save our diversity. And in a way, we could save our ecosystem from the water it produced a lot of animals in turn. And then our ecosystem will come back to the world. So one example is in the Miyagi Prefecture. <coughs> it is registered as a Ramsar Convention and where our way of farming, the winter flooded, the organic farming works so well and takes a really important role there, which invites a lot of the natural wild goose to the field. So what does it mean to the buyers, so you all? It means now there is a clearly 
clear relationship between the eco-friendliness and the people's, the consumer's preference. More and more people like to buy product which is produced naturally, eco-friendly, and they are more likely to a lot of, uh, pay a lot of money on it. So <coughs> this is uh, this means you can buy our rice fields, our rice crops, and you can make your consumer satisfied. If you still worried about the price, then Cultural will explain about that. Yeah. <coughs> I guess everyone feels Japanese white rice is too expensive, but our way of farming is so special, called winter flooded organic farming. So we can make our rice cheaper than normal one. So how? In normal ways, after harvest, people have to cultivate the ground. But in our way, we will do nothing but putting the water in the field. Instead of people, ground worms uh, will cultivate our ground. And they are natural fertilizer for free. Look at other countries. Almost all of them are daily using chemical fertilizers, which means they are daily destroying our environment. But We've never used this, and will never. We have, we have a lot of help. We can get a lot of help from the nature. In the dead or body of small animal can be natural fertilizers, as well as their poops. But we don't stop here. Our soil is so, it's so good that it makes our harvest increased by 10 to 20 percent. So let's compare our rice with others. <coughs> in the young, in the baby, in the middle. So as you can see, our rice is pretty big because our rice is the left side. In a short summary, Harvest will be up, cost will be down, equal price down. We can, we can make our rice reasonable price. So Aya is going to explain the taste. <coughs> the last one is the quality. Everyone has the image. Japanese white rice is high quality. But is this true? Which is more tasty, Japanese white rice or white rice in other countries? We conducted a survey at our, our university, Doshia University. We asked many international students which they like more, Japanese white rice or white rice in your own country. Japanese rice versus Japonica rice in other countries. And we got an amazing result. Most people said, Japanese white rice is more tasty. More than 80% of international students feel Japanese white rice is more tasty. But this is just about general Japanese white rice. Our white rice is more delicious, even among Japanese white rice. We actually ate the rice, and it was sweeter and had more splingery texture. But why? The key is literally hidden under the ground. The roots. As you can see, the left ones are bigger. Bigger roots can absorb much water and nutrition from the soil. So the bigger roots can lead the delicious taste. We appreciate this opportunity. This is a good chance for our business. Because there are many Japanese restaurants in the world. The number of Japanese restaurants has been increasing dramatically. But Japanese restaurants in other countries are making Japanese food They've never used Japanese real white rice. Why don't you make your Japanese food a real one? We strongly believe our white rice can make your consumers feel perfectly happy. Yes, we can. In conclusion, our way of farming has three good aspects, eco-friendliness, cost efficiency, and quality. Why don't you use our white rice? Thank you.
Thank you very much, presenters. So let's go to the judges for questions. First, we'll go to Mr. Nagasawa. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the presentation. Uh, very you. impressive, and I think uh, uh, the group had uh, done a, a massive amount of research uh, to back up uh, your presentation. I'm uh, very uh, impressed with it. Thank you. Uh, I have one question. There is an argument in the world today that organic farming is not good for the environment. The, the point of the argument is like you had in your presentation, if you do the way that you just presented, you can increase 20%, 10 to 20% of the production from the, the same amount, one amount of, a uh, uh, certain amount of paddy. If you use the chemical fertilizers and other, you know, GMO seeds, for example, maybe you can produce 200% compared to the conventional way. Then you can reserve the other land for bird sanctuary or you know, other uh, animals, insects, which you, know, you don't really need to do all these things to produce the amount of the rice that you want and also preserve the environment. That is the point of an argument that for the people that who say that the organic uh, is not uh, eco-friendly. Uh, how do you respond to that? How do you how will you try to convince those people that still organic farming is good for the environment and good for the earth? Thank you for good questions. Uh, I can answer the question uh, by taking the example of China. Now China uh, using a lot of chemical fertilizers and it's now destroying their oil own soil. And then now the result is com already comes up. The Chinese soil, now it's, the quality of soil is getting down. It's already not more like fertile. Then they have to use a more, much more chemical fertilizer to produce more crops. So in the long term, our way is preserve the nature and also preserve our profit as well. As, as well. So that's our answer. Thank you very much. I think that is uh, one very good answer. Of course, there are no you know, right answers. You know, of course, you know, there are a lot of negative side on what you have said, but uh, I think uh, that is one good reason uh, to uh, support your logic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And the next question will go to uh, Mr. Hiramatsu. Uh, very good presentation. Your rice, uh, rice looks delicious. I like to, I like to eat them someday in the near future. I like also I like the idea of you are raising rice and harvest rice, uh, eco friendly. But <clears throat> reality is, uh, your your objective is not to uh, not to producing rice. I know your product is some of the premium product. And you, uh, your sales target is not the consumer in the world, or, or are, you, are you saying your target is restaurant? Restaurant on high, high quality, high price? That's good, but what is your sales strategy? Tell me something about your, what you have in your mind. How do you sell them? To whom? Um, our target is a Japanese restaurant in the world, and Japanese white rice, is very um, sweet, and we always use Japanese white rice for three meals. And we eat meals with white rice, we eat fish with white rice, so our Japanese white rice can match every other food. So our strategy is the strong, strong point of Japanese white rice. So we want to push that point of our rice, and I want you guys, I mean the chain restaurant owners, to use Japanese white rice with other food. And can I add more information on it? So uh, as we said, like our, the rice is now really eco-friendly 
and now more and more people are taking care of the environmental problems, and they are more likely to spend money on their more eco-friendly product. And so we are also targeting to the, the, the consumers, uh, which is located in the place. Yes. Thank you. OK, thank you. Um, let's go to the audience. Does anybody in the audience have a question? Yes, OK, this gentleman over here at the front on the left. <coughs> thank you very much for your great presentation. I have uh, one question about uh, uh, cultivated soils. Uh, you said a winter flooded organic farming, but in winter, uh, almost every animal stops their activities. So I think the reason why uh, uh, the reason why the rice uh, are fostered by with this farming style uh, grow much bigger than others is uh, it's not because uh, of the, uh, the ground worms or other animals. I think there is another reason, particularly um, uh, efforts by farmers having that rice fields in spring or when uh, autumn or uh, summer. So I think I cannot, s I couldn't see uh, the specific connection between the animal activities and winter flooded organic farming. What do you think about the reason? <coughs> can you tell me the testimony that ground worms in winter can, can be activated and farm that rice fields? Thank you. Uh, you are right. The good uh, rice can be produced from the many factors. And we didn't do any regression analysis on the <laughs> ground worm effect on the taste of rice. But this can be also one factor to produce really uh, good uh, rice because uh, the ground worms, the, the point is we don't use any chemical fertilizers. Sometimes chemical fertilizers can be protection of the rice. So they protect too much uh, for, for the rice and then the rice cannot grow more wild so our, in our way, the rice can grow more wild. That's why our roots is much bigger than the, the one which is grown with the chemical fertilizers. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, presenters. Thank you so much. <laughs>